Hey, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. This will be a little bit of a different uh, video. We're not going to repair anything or, or service anything on this one, but we are going to show you kind of a subject. Don't uh, don't judge a book by its cover kind of a subject here. I have two reels. They're both uh, in the same family, but uh, there's a lot of differences between them, and yet if you look at them, you'd uh, pretty much think that, okay, they're the same or uh, very similar in nature, including parts of their name and uh, maybe either one was just an update over the other but there's a lot of differences in these reels i thought i would take a moment to show you and uh, compare the mitchell 300 with the garcia 9000 and a lot of folks just uh, see garcia and they see it in both uh, pieces they assume that uh, the design look at the handle design is almost the same with that little crook as you can see that the uh, the handles here are uh, near identical with the uh, the ways that they adjust. Got Garcia in a name here and Garcia Mitchell in a name there. And uh, that's probably where the similarities stop other than in the, uh, the body shape. So uh, let's talk a little bit about these. But before we do, I want to take a moment to thank our first responders and essential personnel, all the folks involved in keeping us safe during the pandemic, the fire, the emergency, the medical workers, the uh, EMTs, and our essential supply chain folks, the transit, the people who are delivering food and the like. Thank you for all it is that you do to keep us safe during this time. All right, well, that was the similarities, uh, size, shape, handles, uh, bodies, like, yeah, they're the same, but uh, everything else after that kind of gets a little bit different. This Garcia was made in Japan. This Mitchell was made in France. Both of these have a three-side connect but the override on the uh, anti-reverse override is different. You have a dog on this side, you have a little lever on this side. And we're just going to open up the body uh, and show you what's going on here. But first, take a look at this one. This is the 9000. The spool goes up and down in a continual pattern. Look at the Mitchell 300 and you have a different oscillation system. You're going to notice that it doesn't go up and down so much as it kind of pauses in between there and that's a uh, planet not a planetary gear but it is a uh, an oscillation system that is different so let's um, let's go ahead and take this side plate off show you how this one's made well, in order to do that we've got to remove that handle and there's another little clue there the handle is a through handle as opposed to a straight handle and uh, no big deal, no big difference, but this one goes through, the other one screws off. The other one you can remove the whole side plate on without taking the handle off. This one you cannot. So there's an interesting history behind Garcia and Mitchell. Garcia was a distributor for the Mitchell reels uh, in the U.S. And, and abroad. And Garcia went bankrupt in 1978. And Mitchell was left without a distributor. And um, when Mitchell was left without a distributor, they, uh, they kind of changed their brand. But ultimately, because they lost the distributor's volumes that uh, Garcia was providing, uh, it went bankrupt itself in, uh, I believe it was 1984. It hung on for a while, but then went bankrupt in 1984. Well, Garcia reorganized. That, uh, eventually it was purchased by uh, Abu in Sweden, but before that it was reorganized and it became uh, just a, a standalone, and it actually started having reels produced for itself in that Mitchell plant. This is not one of them, these were made in Japan, but uh, the uh, legacy continued for a little while, and then ultimately Abu in Sweden bought um, the Mitchell name in addition to the uh, Garcia franchise and over time that Abu in Sweden was purchased by Pure Fishing. So there's been a lot of handoffs along the way and a lot of uh, interesting side notes in terms of who's doing what, where and when. All right, so I've taken the screws off the one, I've taken the screws off of the other. This comes to that uh, take on mine about don't judge a book by its cover. Very similar in nature but not the same reels. Don't think if you're buying a 9000 you're getting a Mitchell 300, you are not. So let's look inside on the Mitchell 300. So you have a series of gears here, and uh, you'll see that it has an oscillation system that drives off of this 
this oscillation gear. This one needs to be serviced. I'm going to leave it open. It's got a lot of uh, a lot of grease and junk in that in there. It's very slow performing, but it won't be by the time I get done. But you have an oscillation gear. You have a slide. You have a rail. You have a, uh, a spool that uh, the shaft will come out when I remove this slide. And you have three different gears on this side. You have a main gear. You have the gear that's going to drive off of that main gear to drive the uh, spool up top here with that gear, which is an integral part of the spool. You have a transition gear here, which is going to drive the um, oscillation gear off of the main gear smaller piece. So that's your Mitchell 300. And now let's look at the 9000. So the 9000 is a completely different animal. It has one big main gear. It has a trailing arm or a link arm or a crosswind arm, call it what you will. It's pinned in. Right? And that pin will pull out. When you pull out, you can remove the shaft, and then you can remove the main gear. And you'll see that there's a whole different approach to this. There's a still a solid uh, uh, rotor. If you remove this nut from the rotor, there's a ball bearing underneath there that you can get to. It uses um, a spring-loaded anti-reverse dog and a clip from above and uh, it uh, is a much less complicated design to this reel. We'll do uh, the Mitchell. I'll just take that to show you the, the differences there. You're just going to put this back in. It's very easy to assemble this reel. Put that back in. This one was recently serviced. That's why you saw that nice blue grease in there and all. We'll load the pin in. Swing your arm over. Again, you'll see how that works when you spin that, spin that wheel. It's probably a little bit too fast, but you get the idea. Okay, the cover will go back on, and they'll drive that wheel as you saw earlier on in the demonstration. On the Mitchell side now, very different wheel. You're going to pull that oscillation gear out. You're going to pull the slide bar out. And again, this is going to be serviced. This hasn't been serviced. And then you can remove the axle shaft full of grease that way. So very different uh, piece. You do have a, uh, a pinion gear. There's no ball burrowing up top here. It says 1187 on it. I don't. I, this is not when S wheel was made because Mitchell was bankrupt by then. But it probably even means service or uh, when this wheel was acquired. So you have the axle shaft and spool. And you have a uh, slide channel. You have a slide with a pin on it that holds that uh, axle shaft in place. That's the hole for the pin there in the oscillation gear as we described. So don't think that because the reels look similar, because they have the same names uh, or the same heritage, that you're buying the same kind of reel. You're not. The Mitchell 300 is far different from the Garcia 9000. There's a little bit of the story that I told about the reorganizations and why those changes occurred. But the fact that this one was made in France and that one was made in Japan uh, is all the more intriguing, or at least uh, more in terms of letting you know that things change along the way. It's not just this reel. There's a lot of different reels out there where you think you're getting the same reel, and uh, because of some structures and the like, they are different. And maybe you have one of those stories. If you do, please tell it. Uh, leave it in the comment section. Say, I bought this one and I thought it was comparable, but it was a totally different wheel inside. Uh, I'd be happy to know the ones that you've experienced along the way. So, uh, Mitchell 300, Garcia 9000, look the same, totally different wheels. Uh, both uh, quality wheels, both will work well for a long time if kept properly maintained, but not the same wheels in any regard. So, I hope you've enjoyed that little look inside on these two wheels, a little bit about the history behind them. And uh, if you did, please like it. If you want to see more of these, please subscribe. If you do subscribe, please hit the notification button. That way you'll see the reels that I'm going to work on. And uh, if you have any questions on this reel or would like to share reels that are similar but different, uh, leave them in the comment section. I'll be happy to uh, respond to those. So these reels came in for repair because people have contacted me 
about my repair service. I do repair wheels by mail. And if you'd like information on that, please uh, contact me by email on the business card that follows. So this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle, thanking our first responders one more time, wishing everybody great fishing and a wonderful day. Please stay tuned, stay well, and stay watching. Have a great day.